right, I kicked something. I'm sitting on my floor on a pillow because I had leg day yesterday. I am in a little bit of pain. All right, I'm late. I was supposed to be live at seven. It's now eight o'clock. I'll wait for a few people to join in. And then we'll get started with the day one of Money Magic Activations Transmission. Today is just going to be a transmission, not an activation. So basically, a transmission is just me talking. So I'm going to talk about some stuff. Um, I'm going to call in the four archangels before I get started, just to set protection in space. So that's what I do in my private containers. I do a lot of energetic work. So you'll get like a, a little tasty taste of being in a private container with me. Just a little bit. Because I'm not doing a full-on activation tonight. Uh, I did get some new glasses though. I like these. I usually don't get these style. But they're small. And they fit me pretty well. It's like the other sizes, like I have a really small head. I have like a kid size head, so they got to be the right size. Hey, Lindsay. Yeah, these are cool. I got another pair of glasses too, besides these, because I, I just like sunglasses. I wear them on my head. I wear, I put them on my altar and then I wear them on the top of my head a lot. And I wear them. Uh, yeah, so everyone was complimenting me on my makeup yesterday. It looked really good. I don't have any makeup on right now. So I'm not as gorgeous as I was yesterday, but you know, life is life. I don't know how to do that shit. I really don't. I gotta learn. I gotta learn. It's about time that Ashley learns how to put makeup on like a, like a woman. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just I'll just sit there in the mirror and I'll be like, is this is this is this right? <laughs> That's why sometimes you see me and you're like, I don't know, I, I get compliments on my makeup sometimes, but it's not it's not like it was yesterday. I try to watch those YouTube videos and I don't have time for that shit. I just Jess is gonna teach me how to do it. I'm like, you just need to like sit with me and teach me how to do this shit. Yeah. All right. Before we get started, so I have a plant here. <laughs> I have a plant next to me. Hey, Steph. <laughs> so this is my plant. Danielle and Luna got me this plant. I have, I don't know if you guys are feeling this shit, but I haven't been grounded all fucking day. Like literally feel like my third eye is like zzzz. So my friend hit me up today and they were like, so I did mushrooms and you were with me. And I'm like, cool. Is this why I feel so fucked up today? Because like literally I felt like I was tripping out all day. And I'm like, oh, I was probably with so-and-so. Like after they called me, I was like, oh, is this why I fucking feel like this? <laughs> Oh my God, I tried everything to get grounded today. I went to the park, I took my shoes off, I was journaling like barefoot. I got this fucking plant next to me. I got a bag of shungite over here. I'm like rubbing it all over me before I go live. <laughs> I got a huge shungite pyramid. Fucking, there's gotta be 50 pieces of noble shungite surrounding the big shungite pyramid next to me. And I still don't feel fucking grounded. So, I can't stop drinking water. It's insanity today. We're going to get through this. That's why I'm like, I can't, I can't be doing a fucking meditation right now. I'm glad I don't have anything to do in my private containers today. I don't know if you guys are feeling this. Am I the only one that's feeling like this today? Or is it just me? Let me fix my collar on my jacket. Jeez, my rings always get caught in my hair. All right. Hey, Nicole. Let's do this. So, 
I'm going to call on the four archangels just to protect the space. Today we're talking about selling your soul for money. We've all fucking done it. I'm going to go over why you shouldn't do that shit. All right. Hello, whoever just joined in. I don't know your name because it's, it's an NDA Fonseca. But hi there. Welcome to my lives. Look at that. My fucking earrings falling out. Come on. This is just, we're getting delayed all day today. I'm telling you. Come on, earring. Go in. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to call on the four archangels and then we'll get started with the transmission. So when I do transmissions and I talk, this is like information from the divine coming through. And I was literally like, okay, what's the first money magic activation for the, the freebie online? And they were like, you need to talk about selling your soul. And I'm like, come on, like I really got to talk about this shit. <sighs> Fine, because that was the only thing I was like, what about this? And they were like, no, what about this? I, they were like, no, I was like, so selling your soul, they're like, yeah, people need to hear this shit. I'm going to have to like upload this to YouTube too, because apparently fucking Facebook doesn't want to post my videos. So I got to upload this to YouTube and then I'm going to share it on my other platforms. Roll up my sleeves for this shit. You're all going to get triggered by this. All right. Let's call in the four archangels. <sighs> so Archangel Michael, please step forth. Archangel Uriel, please step forth. Archangel Gabriel, please step forth. Archangel Raphael, please step forth. And I'm calling in Archangel Metatron, please step forth. And I'm going to call in some energy silently. Okay, I set the space, just did a little bit of energy work, very mildly protecting the space. All right, let's talk about this. So I wanna talk about what it means to sell your soul for the money. So we've all done this. Now a lot of you think like when I talked about selling your soul and like we're talking about baby eating and shit like that. And, and that is a form of selling your soul. That's like the most extreme form. So like when I was channeling into this like 10 minutes before I went live, because like literally it all came in 10 minutes before I went live. Um, it was just like the divine was pretty much like this planet is programmed to basically give up your soul give up your higher connection for material, for financial gain, um, and for acceptance. So a lot of times acceptance is connected to finances and materialism. All of those kind of go in the same category uh, because it has to do with the tribal aspect of humanity and the fact that we feel like we need to be in certain groups, with certain groups of people, um, in order to attain status and so on and so forth. So acceptance is very connected to selling your soul. I'm pulling that plant next to me. All right. Um, the first thing I wrote is don't sell your soul for money. Okay. But we've all done it before. So selling your soul consists of doing something that is out of alignment with your divine truth in order to be accepted and or have an exchange of something else. So it even could be a material item or it could be power. So a lot of people sell their souls for power, but power usually has to do with gaining on a material level, unless you really go high up in the hierarchy where you're in the fucking astral level and you're just fucking with everyone on a massive level. So that's like, if we're thinking of like the Illuminati, that's like the people at the top of the pyramid that you don't even know exist because they're they're like really in a high that high high level in the astral realm um and there's always a price to pay you can't just sell your soul and in return nothing is going to happen so we're going to talk about the extremes of selling your soul so in extreme cases like i said you're just completely cutting off your connection with the divine so like these are the people that like eat babies they have no chance 
in gaining access to the divine. So they're kind of like what I channel into and I see with that energy is um, a lot of times they allow another entity to take over their body. So a lot of people think like, yeah, let's just kill that person because they're really evil. Well, it's not even really them. There's a demonic entity that resides in the fourth dimension or some type of entity that has completely taken over their body. So for instance, uh, if we're talking about somebody like Hillary Clinton or Jeffrey Epstein, like there, there's not a person in there. There's, you know, even at table tipping me, I asked about Joe Biden because I know there's other fucking things driving his fucking vehicle because he doesn't even know what time period he's in. He's like in fucking talking about, and one thing he said, the Civil War. I'm like, the fucking Civil War? So like, that's another entity in there, like not even realizing like what, because there is no time on the other side. And we, I asked about that during table tipping. I forgot who I asked who was on the table. I think, it, I don't know who it was. It might've been Ashtar. Um, but I was like, so how many entities are driving around Joe Biden? <laughs> And the liter literally the table counted eight. No, nine. There's nine in there. So that's why he, he doesn't even know where where he is, you know? Um, and he makes no sense because I feel like they're like fighting in there. They're like, oh, it's my turn. It's my turn to talk. <laughs> so yeah, it was Ashtar. All right, yeah. So Joe Biden, he's got like nine demons in him. You know, if you're a supporter, I don't know why you're following me. Cause he's a fuck, fucking reptilian just saying um but yeah so the process of selling your soul for money is basically or to attain power in like a higher like like the most extreme sense is completely like your soul steps aside and i feel like the more that you dive into this so the more that you dive into this this practice of okay i want power i want this i greed all of that your higher self just kind of pushes out so far that if somebody like me were to try to connect with the higher self of like joe biden or killary um you, we couldn't even access them i don't even know where their higher self is uh, that's something i never figured out is where the higher self goes when you go into that practice of just completely giving up your soul but that's the extreme level of selling your soul so um most people we do sell our souls so we like i said we're programmed on this planet to believe that you can't be happy and make money. So happiness is connected to soul living. Happiness is connected to the divine. Like happiness is connected to living in your truth. So you're con when you're giving up who you are and pieces of yourself because you feel like this is the way that you're supposed to be living in order to quote unquote support yourself or have financial stability or abundance or acceptance in a certain community that you live in even with your family some sort of status you are basically giving up bits and pieces of your soul and who you are and that is why so many people on this planet struggle that's why there's drug addiction because and i knew a lot of addicts i still know a lot i know a lot of recovering addicts now um because i live that life you know i sold drugs for a living i was always around that I, I did drugs but not on a level where i ever got addicted because for some reason i just i couldn't do it i couldn't I, maybe my vibration i don't know it was a scary thing to me with certain drugs i would be like no i can't i can't i can't i can't fuck with that shit i just did a lot i just smoked a lot of weed and did some other like mushroomy kind of things um but yeah so like i knew a lot of addicts and they felt like they were caged and contained and when people would try to tell them you got to live your life like this they would fucking do drugs and flip the fuck out because it was a way to escape you know so to them it was like this is how i set my soul free because the way that society is making me try to live i can't live like that you know, and I've talked about this escapism in other videos is when you really begin to tap into who you are, you don't want to escape anymore because you're having too much fun connecting with yourself. Um, so when I started doing this work, I, I stopped drinking like I drink maybe like three or four times a year. Like that's it. Um, I stopped smoking weed um, because for weed, 
there's two things that you can use weed for. Weed you can ground with, which Jess uses weed to ground. And I know a lot of other people do. I can't. It doesn't get me grounded. When I smoke weed, I'm fucking out of here. I'm out of here. It's escapism. Like, that's what I used weed for, so I can't do it. Um, I mean, I can every once in a while, but not like I used to. It has to be before bed. So, yeah, that's that's why people can't function and we're going to begin to see more of this so if you watch my videos like check out if you, this is your first time watching my lives I'm talking about all this energy mixing up in the astral realm really coming in and it's going to create a lot of mental illness because coming in the vibration of the frequency is going to be so high if you can't get rooted into who you are and who you should be which you can't be selling your motherfucking self out for money or acceptance you're going to be suffering you're going to be in a place of suffering so you fucking choose Choose the right fucking thing, dude. Don't do this shit to yourself. So stop with the programs that, oh, you got to be like, if you're doing something that you love, you're not going to get fucking paid for it. That's bullshit. You don't need to be doing shit that you hate in order to survive and live. This is the separation of the soul. When you're financially abundant and you're loving your life, in what you do for quote unquote work, that is fulfillment. That's fulfillment. That is wholeness. You don't need another fucking person in your life. You know, that's another part of the program. And I'm going to get to that. Oh, I need to be with this person because they complete me. Nobody fucking completes you. You complete yourself. Okay? I'm going to put my ring back on. I just noticed that it wasn't on. Um, you complete yourself. So stop saying that other people fucking complete you. That's bullshit too. And a lot of people stay in fucking relationships due to financial shit. Because there's all this programming out there like, well, I can't survive without this person because X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. It's all lies. It's all lies. And all, so much of this has to do with money and wealth. Money is everywhere. It's everywhere and you can do whatever you want and whatever you feel really connected to to make money. You just don't believe it and you don't believe in your fucking self. And I'm calling you out on that shit and you're fucking selling your soul. Don't sell your soul anymore. You know, we've all fucking done it. We've all done it in mild ways at least. But some of you, and I could tell, I could tell when a motherfucker is selling their soul because they are very unhappy and they look like they're fucking the walking dead. You know what I mean? They're just like getting by in life. You know why? Because your soul's like, bitch, I can't even fuck with you. I can't even be near you. I can't even come in your energy field because every day you're doing something that is out of alignment with me. So you can just stay. It's like your physical self and your higher self are like arguing with each other. They're arguing with each other. They're like fighting with each other. It's like the 3D version of you doesn't want to allow the 5D in because you're too busy worrying about everything within the 3D. And a lot of spiritual people think, oh, well, I can't do this for money and I can't do this for money. And I you're never going to get that fulfillment. You're never going to get that emergence. You can't go into ascension because you have to overcome all of that. That's the ego telling you, no, you can't make money off of your art. You can't make money off of your healing. You shouldn't be charging people. Yo, that's the reptilians telling you that shit because they don't want healers to be financially abundant. They don't want artists to be financially abundant. They want you to be broke and they want you to be broken. So you are not inspiring. You're fucking boring. And you're living 90, let's see, fucking, you sleep, how much do you sleep? Like half of your life? And then you wake up and you go to work and you work a fucking nine to five that you hate. So like, that's a big portion of your life. So like, what's the portion of your life where you're actually doing something and you're loving it? I feel like it should be most of the time. You know what I mean? I need a drink. not quench my thirst today. Rub some shingite on me. And we'll keep going. All right. <laughs> so one thing too, when people with soul selling is this is a big thing. This is a big thing. And a lot of y'all do it. I know you do it because you fucking tell me all the time. 
And I did this shit too when I was doing real estate. And that's why I fucking hated real estate. I like the, I like the concept of real estate because like I had like freedom and it was like my own job and I was self-employed. But here's the thing that was destroying my soul. I was selling my soul. This was part of my soul selling process is to do real estate. You have to be really professional and you have to look professional and like, Oh God, I started in 2008 when the market crashed, um, but it wasn't as acceptable. I feel like now you can kind of get away with more stuff as a real estate agent than I feel like you could back then. Um, times have changed a little bit, but I hated the fact that like I had to dress up all the time. Like it was just like, you know, and then there was things I wanted to do with my hair and tattoos and piercings and couldn't do that shit if I wanted to be a real estate agent. You know, I had to look professional all the time. Even when I dress up nice, I like to have cleavage or I like to wear a short skirt. Like that's how I am because if I, I'm short and this is like a fucking insecurity thing, I guess, but this is what makes me feel good. So when I dress up, like a professional, like not a professional woman, but when I dress up nice, I like to show cleavage or some leg or something like that because I'm short and I don't want, I like to show my body and my shape off. That's just how I feel comfortable. And I feel like if I don't, I look like a 12 year old. So just getting to the basics of it. And, you know, even with that, my mom would be like, well, because my mom was in real estate. My stepdad was in real estate. That's how I got in. And she, my mom would be like, well, you know, don't wear skirts too short because then wives will get jealous and don't show cleavage because blah, 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 blah. So I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, so I have to look like a boring motherfucker, you know? So I did for a little bit and like, I hated it. I hated it. Like, as soon as I got home, I would rip my clothes off and put my fucking shit on like this and you know it was just I didn't want to do it I didn't want to do it so like don't sell your soul like this is people like if you have to cover up who you are to go to work then that's kind of like a sign that you're giving away pieces of yourself and you're selling yourself out in order to do something for money so hence you are selling your soul you know, it's a little bitty piece of your soul. You may love your job, but maybe you don't like that aspect of it. But you have to think about these things. This is why I'm saying I'm going to trigger some of you motherfuckers when you watch this video. You're going to be like, what the fuck? You know? So this is why I do the shit that I do. And like even when I first started, when I opened my business, I was 28. I wore Jordans all the time with little booty shorts and, you know, whatever the fuck I wanted to wear. And people would always come in soliciting and they'd be like, hey, can I talk to the owner? I'd be like, I'm the owner. <laughs> and they'd be like, you're the owner? Yeah, motherfucker, I am. You know? So, but I, I'm free. I'm free. I can be myself. And then I even went in this process with the spiritual work and this, this is another piece of me selling my soul. I went in the process with my spiritual work and I, I didn't want to say certain things and I didn't want to fully be Ashley because I felt like if I did that, I would push people away. And in a way, it, it really brought me to humble, like to a sense of humbleness and humility. But in a way also, it was killing me. That's why in 2018, I was like, fuck this shit, you know? You all, a lot of you know my story about 2018 where I was just like, I'm, I'm not the spiritual teacher anymore. Like, I'm the coach. I'm the fucking mentor. I'm here to inspire. I'm here to trigger. Like, I had to fall into that because that was a piece of my soul that was like, let me back in, Ashley. Let me back in, please. You know? And then my physical self was like, no, Ashley can't be spiritual with you here. So I just had to say fuck you to that ego that was like, and I was like, come on back in, bitch. Let's go trigger everyone. And it was like an explosion from there. So like these are like ways that a lot of you are selling your soul. So I want you to take some notes and say, hey, how am I selling my soul today? You know, is it because I'm trying to impress my fucking neighbor? Well, fuck your neighbor. You know, am I, am I like trying to impress my husband Fuck your husband. Fuck that motherfucker. Fuck your wife. Fuck your kids. Fuck your mom. Fuck your dad. Fuck your grandma. You know? Let them go sell them out. Sell them souls. Sell their fucking souls. Everyone loves to sell their souls. Now this is downloaded. I'm like, can't believe how many people are selling their souls. 
You know, I'm not selling myself out. <sighs> Thank you, plant, for grounding me. This plant is like, what the fuck? <laughs> plan is like what did I get myself into by moving in with this bitch <laughs> I always knew there was another Ashley another Ashley bubbling beneath the surface I'm sure a lot of people knew you know I'm sure a lot of people talk shit too like the people that knew me from back in the day they're like yo that that bitch and her fucking boyfriend used to fucking do all this fucked up shit. And blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? Now I'm telling people all the fucked up shit that I did because that's a part of my life. Yeah, fuck your grandma. You know, fuck her. She probably sold herself out too. I'm not. No, your grandma's probably a really nice lady. I don't want to say fuck your grandma. But I'm just saying like, fuck your grandma if your grandma's like, you know, you got to be like this. Nah, nah, no, nah, I don't. My grandma ne never told me that. So, she was very accepting of people. I had a nice grandma. My dad's grandma, my dad's mom. <laughs> she she passed away when I was young, but she, she was a little different. She was a little different. She was a tough bitch, though. I wouldn't fuck with her. That's where I get it from, my dad's side. Like all that craziness, that's my dad's side. My mom's side's really nice and quiet and nice. <laughs> my dad's side is like the devil's. <laughs> um, so yeah, not being able to express your soul, you're selling yourself out, you're selling your soul. You may not be a baby eater, but you're selling your fucking soul. I mean, even today I was in Panera Bread I'm not proud of it, but, you know, I went to Dave's. I couldn't find anything to eat there because my dad's a truck driver, so he knows all the things. He tells me all the things about the markets, and he was saying something, and I was like, why the fuck did you have to tell me that? I buy prepared food from Dave's all the time. So I went to Panera, which is probably way worse. But anyways, uh, I was in there, and some guy was like, some old guy was like, what the fuck did he say? He's like, you have some crazy hair. And I was like, thank you. Like, to me, that's a compliment. Like, I love when people, like, like, I get a lot of compliments about my look because I love the way I, like, I love my look. You know, I love the way I look. I love my style. Like, I feel very confident in how I present myself because I'm completely free all the time. Like, I wake up every morning and I'm Ashley. I go to work as Ashley. I see clients as Ashley. Like, the expression, being able to fully express myself is so important for me and my connection to my higher self. So think about that. If you can't express who you are in your workspace, really rethink, like, is this something that I want to do? Is this something that is soul aligned? Or am I soul selling? Because pretty soon you might be eating a fucking baby. You know, you're just going to open your refrigerator one day and there's going to be a baby in there. And you're not even going to know how it got in there. And it's going to be because you couldn't have tattoos at work. That's how it all started. This is how fucking shit starts like that. All right. <laughs> okay, so we already talked about that, staying in situations. You Okay, people stay in extremely... <laughs> Oh, I don't want to read this comment. Oh my God. Someone told me the other day I tied my hair up so it doesn't look like yours. And I full on said, ew, at her. <laughs> what the fuck? What does that even mean? I tied my hair up so it doesn't look like yours. Like they didn't want to have the same hair as you. That's weird. People are weird. <sighs> okay. Um... Staying in an unhealthy relationship because of money. You're selling your soul. You fucking sold out, motherfucker. Oh, she didn't like your hair. That's fucking rude. I like when people uncompliment me too, I have to say. People don't really do it, but I can tell sometimes when they say things. Because I almost thought that old guy was like doing that. And then I was kind of like, he was like, you have crazy hair. And I was like, are you, at first I was like, are you insulting me? And, but then I felt that he wasn't. I just feel like he didn't know what to say. But I almost like, I like to, when people look at me like, oh, that fucking weird bitch, you know? Because I'm here to trigger you. 
Because if they're looking at me like that, they're fucking jealous. That's all I'm saying. Because they wouldn't have the balls to do this shit and this shit and whatever the fuck I do. Whatever else I'm going to do. When I make my first millions of dollars, well, when I make my first one million, I'm going to get a face tat. It's going to be literally a, um, a little alien spaceship teardrop. For all the reptilians I begin to murder, it'll just go down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I really am going to get a face tat. It'll be a little teeny one. And I'll have way more tattoos so it'll match. Um, okay, so staying in relationships, unhealthy relationships because of money. You're selling your soul. You're selling your soul. You're selling your fucking soul. I can't even make it any more clear. Like if you're in a relationship with somebody because of the money and the finances and you're unhappy, you know, then some people are in relationships uh, like comfort and things like that. And, you know, depending on situations, it's whatever. But if you're in a very unhealthy and unhappy relationship because of money, you are selling your soul. Okay, so there are witness. This has to do what you don't believe that you are worthy of compensation. You don't believe that you are worthy of making money. You don't believe in yourself. You need to tap into that belief. Everybody can do it. Everyone can tune into the energy of wealth. It's just that you have to believe in yourself. So with that, sometimes in these unhealthy situations, you're going to have to give up material items in order to have that fulfillment. But it doesn't mean that you can't attain that on your own. So you have to tap into that shit. You have to really own that. You have to be that. And I'll tell you right now, being a card reader for years, I can't even tell you how many women have come in and they're in horribly unhealthy and unhappy relationships because of finances and kids. Like that broke my heart. Like that really made me sad that, wow, because of money, you're with this fucking piece of shit who just spewed his fucking shitty energy all over my table because you came in today, you know? You know how much time I had to spend cleaning my card room because of some of these fucking assholes that these women would stay with? I can't even imagine, like, what their energy field would be like if I had to, like, actually do energy work on them because a lot of them that were in really abusive relationships didn't come back because I basically told them the truth, you know? And it's... That to me is like so constricting and it literally, it, it, it destroys women and men too. There's a lot of men that are in relationships due to financial situations. Maybe they're afraid to leave their, whatever, you know, but that is something that it, it destroys people. This is what creates illness. This is what creates mental issues as well and physical illness. It's very sad. So you know, if you're watching this video and like that's something that, you know, maybe you're stuck in a situation like that, I want you to know if you're watching this video, you don't need to stay. You can leave. When you make the decision that I need to leave, I need to get out of here, but God, please help me with my finances. Help me find the way. You will find the way. You just need to believe and trust, especially during these times. Don't fucking stay. Don't fucking stay. So, I feel like that's it for this transmission. I already talked about jobs too, like being in a job that you hate because of the money. Like a lot of people that are, are in jobs that they hate because they make a lot of money, but they're not happy. And this is, this is, you're selling your soul as well, you know? Don't be that person. Don't do it. This is why I'm here, to remind you all, to tell your grandma to go fuck off, to tell your fucking kid, go fuck off, you know? Like, I'm not selling my soul for any of you bitches. So we've all done it. We've all been there. Think of ways that you've done it, you know? Like, I know a lot of you watching this, like, there's, there's ways that you've done it. And write that shit down. Don't repeat that shit. Fix it. Change it. Shift it. Get out of it. If you're a light worker, if you're connected, if you're a motherfucking alien in a human suit here on earth don't fucking be like these people don't sell your galacticness to be something that you're not you know don't do that 
Don't sell your magic. Don't give your magic away because you got to be in some fucking cool guy group of people that aren't even fucking cool, you know? Like, there's so many people that try to belong to things, and, like, that was one thing, like... I don't, I don't understand that. Like, I do, I do, I get it. I've always tried, like, with me, it's been like, oh, yeah, like, let me try to be nice to these people and, like, be in this group of people. And it never fucking works. It never works. It never works. Like, if I'm not fully aligned with them, then they end up hating me. <laughs> I, I become the enemy. I told my photographer the other day, I was like, we got to do a photo shoot with me as Scarface? culty motherfucker. <laughs> I go, I gotta do a photo shoot with me as Scarface, right? Because I'm the bad guy. Because I'll be like, yo, you motherfuckers are fake. Fake as fuck. You know? I mean, if you want the truth, come to Ashley. You know, if somebody talks shit about me, come talk to me. I'll tell you the truth. I just had to tell the truth to somebody yesterday. Because bitches be talking shit. And I'm like, no, this is what happened. And I'll tell you when I'm being an asshole. I'll be like, yeah, I fucking said that. I did that shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, Scarface. But instead of me snorting coke, I'm going to snort crushed up selenite. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you to the five archangels for holding the space. I hope that you've all received this transmission. And I'll see you all tomorrow for part two of Money Magic Activations and Transmissions. Bye. <laughs>